Good morning everyone. It's 7.30 and it's really bloody warm but ideal conditions for trekking in the hills because we're going to go up high and there's going to be a nice breeze so I am actually in Helensborough in Argyllan Butte on the west of Scotland a place very close to my heart and this is actually where I grew up after moving to Scotland in 1988 so I have friends and family here and this weekend is actually the first weekend that I've been back since lockdown was lifted so I spent yesterday catching up with everyone and my normal routine would be I would just hop on the train, straight, head, head straight back to Edinburgh. But, for those of you in the know, Helensburgh is actually the official start point of the John Muir Way. That runs all the way from here, in Helensburgh, through to Dunbar on the east side of Scotland. Actually runs through Edinburgh, which is where I live. Um, so I could technically walk this door to door, but I'm not going to because I have work tomorrow. However, I thought I would take the very first section of this, which runs all the way to Balak at the foot of Loch Lomond. It's about a 10 mile walk. I've never done it before, which I'm quite ashamed of, I have to admit. So I'm looking forward to this, and I really, really could not have asked for better weather. So I'm glad that you guys could come along with me. Right. The walk itself actually begins down at Helen's Receive Front, which is pretty much just a straight, if you can see this, 20 minute walk straight up. But for me, because I live on this, this side of town, for me it's always begun at the Hill House, which you'll actually see here. It's currently being reworked, hence why it's covered, so it's not open at the moment. But the Hill House is very famous, it's a Charles Rennie Macintosh design, frequented by people such as Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie in its time. They're big fans of it, or as a couple they were, who knows now. Uh, however, we are now here, what I like to think is the official start of the John Muir Way. So we've got the John Muir Way and we have the Three Locks Way, which I will be doing in a couple of weeks. So they actually share part of this route as well. But straight away, I'm enjoying this walk because we're in forest area and I love forests. So lots and lots of just walking along the main road at the moment. Uh, but just listen to how quiet it is. Apart from my footsteps, just birdsong. It's, oh, it's so nice just to, to be out early in the morning. No traffic noise, no people, just taking in the scenery. And we're still walking along the main road. Yes. And we're still on the main road. Yeah. Oh. There we go. And we're back on the trail, people. That was a lot of main road walking there. But now we're in the hills, we're in the good stuff. So I'm actually feeling a little bit confused because there's been no signage for the John Muir Way for maybe about 15-20 minutes and the route I'm taking is actually essentially going in the direction of Helensburgh again which is the exact opposite of what I want so uh, I'll keep following it for a while worst case scenario I'll just walk back and see if there's another path that I missed but I don't believe so Okay, so a uh, quick course correction. I've actually gone back through the gate that I passed through earlier on um, because the path just seems to head straight back down to Helensborough. 
wasn't a massive deviation, but um, the signage, there's not much signage around here, so I'm just going to take pot luck. I'm, st I'm still walking towards Balak at the end of the day, so we'll just see what happens. I see a sign, people. Oh, good grief. So that's the cycle path. It goes onwards that way, and we want to go this way. Wow. That was, uh, that was frustrating. Oh, jeez. Right, so... Put you on your way, here we go. Okay, we are back on the path. Yay! You come up Helensborough, you're walking for about a mile and a half, two miles along the cycle path and you will eventually see a little turning with a gate that says the John Muir Way. But before then, there's almost nothing. And the route that I originally took over a stile seemed like a natural route to follow. Ended up taking me back through to the top of Helensborough. So, schoolboy error, but GPS has put me back on the path. The flies are out in force with a vengeance. They've not had, had people to bite for months and they found me, you little bastards. Whew. It is warm folks, nine in the morning and it is warm. Ah, uh, but I'm, I'm really enjoying myself, I, I needed this. There are a few months in lockdown, Germany have not seen anyone this is exactly what you need just to clear the mind, just refresh and restart. No one else around, just trees and the bird song. Made me feel a lot better, so glad I did this. It's like, oh, these flies, these flies are mean. West Coast flies are mean people. And there are the bonnie bonnie banks of Loch Lomond. West Highland Way in a month's time. Look at this view, absolutely amazing. Loch Lomond in the Trossachs. Yes, we're about to head off into some into some wooded area. We'll cool things down a little bit, we'll get rid of these pesky flies. Whew. Well, it's cooled down finally, we're getting higher up and we're sheltered by trees all the way around. We could really do with this breeze. That was uh, uphill, it was warm. The flies were something else I don't think I've ever been swarmed by flies for so long um, but now we're in a nice calm relaxed area it's a nice breeze unwinding this is exactly what I needed after three months of lockdown jump away Balak off to the left jump away Hellasra off to the right and the three locks away which I'm really excited to be doing in a couple of weeks I believe that goes that away straight ahead so for 20 years since I've lived in Edinburgh, whenever I come down to Helensborough, I've stayed a couple of days and then I've jumped on the train on a, on a Sunday morning or a Monday morning, gone back through to Edinburgh. It only takes a couple of hours. And it's only taken me this long to decide, you know what, I'm going to walk some of this route. And I'm going to do this a lot more often because I'm having a great time and this is a really nice trail. And I'm really kicking myself that I hadn't done this sooner, but better late than never. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to. It's necessary, it's required. It's Loch Lomond after all, so if we want to get some good views in, this is going to be the route. And it's a uh, steep and uphill. Oh, scramble up.
I, uh, I just dropped a few expletives off camera there as I was approaching the top. The views are jaw dropping. Get a load of this. You know, I could have I could have stayed up at that viewpoint forever. It's so calm and so peaceful here. There's not a soul around, it's just me. Just sat up there for 10 minutes, just taking in the scenery and I feel so relaxed. So I'm almost sad to have to head back down. I'm absolutely going to love this. I love walking through wooded areas. Currently my favourite part of the walk so far. Absolutely loving this. Yep, and there we see the path winding up through the hills on the way to Loch Lomond. We've covered 4.7 miles from Helensburgh already. I'm kind of sad that this is a, this is nearly over. We're going to go that way. Oh, we are about to see some epic views. Look at that view. And that is Balak over there. It feels like quite the contrast going from miles and miles of wooded area to suddenly coming out into an open expanse like this, but what an absolute view. Walking the West Highland Way in just over a month, I'm going to be seeing a lot of that. So I'm currently walking on the Stony Mullen Path, which used to be known in the 18th century as the Coffin Road. It was used to essentially ferry the dead from Balak over the hills to a resting site, a graveyard in Carjoss, which is just a few miles behind me.
Well, there's a little path off the beaten track here and I can hear a stream, so I'm gonna pop down and see if I can explore. It's nice and shady as well, so we get out of the sun. Well, it was kind of a stream. It wasn't a stream. Oh well. There's always that moment when you start to hear the traffic that you know your journey is very nearly over. <laughs> And now I have the Sons of Anarchy theme tune in my head. And here we are folks. Loch Lomond Shores. So we're here. We're going to walk up. We're going to take in some views of Loch Lomond. Head around and then train station and we're done. And here we are, we are walking into Balak village right now on the banks of Loch Lomond. There's people out in boats, there's people sunbathing, and there is no social distancing. And here we are on the banks of Loch Lomond. Well, that's it folks. I am here at Balak train station. So my journey ends for today. It's been wonderful weather and it's been a really, really beautiful walk. So thanks for joining me and stay tuned because I'm back in two weeks for the Three Locks Way.